Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. Hope you're all doing well. I've got a collaboration IPA for you between Thornbridge and North Brewing Co. And it's a can of Northbridge. Great name. And it's described as a mountain IPA. And it's coming in at 7.2% ABV. There is the artwork on the can. Quite like the colour. That combination of navy blue and light blue does pop for me. Quite like that. There is a bit of flavour text on this one. It says, our collaboration with North Brewing Co. is inspired by both West Coast bitterness and East Coast softness. This mountain IPA takes the middle ground between the two ubiquitous IPA styles. Ubiquitous. I said that word completely wrong there. Ubiquitous. That's a posh word. I don't hear that very often. Basically means um, everywhere. So I'm assuming they're referring to the West Coast IPA and East Coast IPAs all over the place. So no, they could have just written popular. I made it a bit easier, but there you go. Um, <clears throat> ingredients anywhere? Ingredients? Hello? Contains malted barley and wheat. Um. Oh, here we go. Got some information. Citra. So it's got hops. Citra HBC 353, wherever that is. BRU1. Hazy on the eye. Pineapple and peach on the aroma. Pine stone fruits. Sorry, pineapple and peach on the flavour, should I say. Pine and stone fruits on the aroma. And they reckon it complements a goat's cheese salad. <laughs> Can't remember the last time I ate a goat's cheese salad. So yeah, a 7.2% ABV IPA between two fairly big boys in the British craft scene. Love a good West Coast IPA. I do like a good New England IPA from time to time. I have been getting a little bit bored of the style recently. Because I feel like every brewery and their dog has had a crack at it. But let's have a go, shall we? Thornbridge and North Brew with their North Bridge... Um, it is hazy, quite pale hazy though, it's a pale sort of gold, peachy kind of colour, um, so already it kind of looks like a middle ground between a West Coast and a New England, West Coast generally slightly um, paler, slightly more, you can often see through them, you can often see through a West Coast, the New England cloudier, thicker, tend to be very very hazy this one is kind of neither one or the other it is hazy but at the same time you can just about see through it um it looks the part let's um give it a bit of a, a wriggle stick me nose in see what she smells like straight away i'm getting the new england characteristics jump out of my nose i'm getting that pineapple hit It says pineapple and peach on the palate, but I'm getting it on the nose. It kind of smells, it reminds me of a sort of a pineapple peach yogurt. It's a slight kind of yogurty. Um, how's the best way to describe what a yogurt smells like? I'm sure you must have all had a yogurt at some point. Pineapple and peach yogurt is what I'm getting. Slight vanilla touch to it. Not getting any real pine pineiness on it. No real citrus hit on the aroma. It's definitely more of a New England style smell, this one. Um, head has dissipated pretty sharpish. <sighs> I've no idea what I'm going to get here. Let's get stuck in. Cheers. Where's the bitterness? A 
light body, thin bodied, pineapple, peach on the flavour as well. There is the slightest kind of sort of piney flavour on this towards the back end. But it's, the flavour is predominantly New England style. It's tropical. It's got a soft mouthfeel to it. Perhaps not as thick as a New England. But there's just none of that. There's just none of that kind of bitterness, that lingering bitterness that you get from a good West Coast. And and Thornbridge have made a bloody good West Coast this year with uh, Firestone Walker and that Pondera. So they know how to make one. This you know what this isn't this isn't a bad effort at combining a New England and a West Coast. This isn't a bad effort. Excuse me. I just feel that the New England flavours are taking over this one. It's actually quite nice. I'm actually quite enjoying the beer. Um, because sometimes the thickness and the, the kind of over tropical flavour of a New England can put me off. Almost leaves like a slight dank flavour in your mouth sometimes. But because this is combining the two, you're not getting that. That kind of tropical, over tropical flavour and that dankness doesn't come through. Because they've, they've obviously held back and they tried to add a bit of a West Coast feel to it. That slight piney flavour is there. It's got a nice sort of gentle carbonation. But the, the carbonation it does does just enough to kind of throw around that slight, that subtle pininess towards the back end. It's an interesting beer. It's a, it's a, it's tasty. I'm enjoying it. I just wish it had a little bit more of a West Coast bitterness at the back, and it would have been an absolute winner. But I just, I just feel the New England style is, is the dominant style out of the two. But it is a very good effort. It is an interesting IPA. It's a tasty IPA. Just needs a bit more bitterness. And this would have been a winner. Um, but I'm enjoying it. Again, I'm enjoying it. Um, was this a Tesco one? I believe it was a Tesco one. I think it was £3 a can. I'm really sorry. I, I'm buying all these beers from supermarkets and I forget what they are. I'm sure it was either three pound or three fifty, and I'm sure it was Tesco. <laughs> pretty sure it was Tesco, and I'm pretty sure it was three quid. Um, this is decent. It's a solid effort. It's a solid effort. I would, I would, I wondered if these guys would maybe try this again and see if they can get a bit more lingering bitterness on it, just to give it a bit more of a, a West Coast finish because it's predominantly East Coast for me. This beer. They've almost got the balance just right. Tastes like New England. And then just when you think it's going to be a complete you know, New England IPA, you get a subtle piney kick at the back end. Lots of pineapple, lots of peach. Very nice middle ground mouthfeel on it. It's soft, but at the same time, that carbonation does, does just enough to keep it lively. New England IPAs aren't always the most carbonated beers. They're usually quite soft, thick, you know, big tropical custard type things. This one is slightly thinner, has a good carbonation rush to it. It just helps that little bit of pininess come through at the end. Just needs a bit more bitterness. But that's a very nice beer. That's a very nice IPA. I'm quite enjoying that. Um, I would drink that again. I would probably buy that again. Um, but it's not quite the perfect combination of West Coast and East Coast IPAs for me. Um, but it's a solid effort. It's a solid effort. I would love for these two to come together and just have another crack at it. Maybe do Northbridge Volume 2, something like that. And just try and give it a little bit of a more of a bitter kick. A bit more of a satisfying beer drinking experience I would get I think if we just had that slight more bit of kick that you'd expect from a west coast it's just a bit the, the New England definitely is the more overpowering of the two styles in this one but I like it 
I like it. I like it enough to give it an 8 out of 10. That's a solid crack. Yeah, Northbridge, Thornbridge, North Brewing Company collaboration. Available in Tesco. £3, I think, a can. Um, go out and check that one out. It is very good. Well worth a go. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, guys. Until my next one, you take care.